AutoCAD is a computer-aided drafting program. It's here to help us create construction documents. Now, in order to do so, we have to create a geometric database or a model. It can be a group of either two-dimensional lines or a 3D solid model. Once the modeling is complete, we have to annotate it to display to others what it is and what its features are. Let's open up the dimension example file. AutoCAD is organized into two working environments or spaces to help us accomplish this task. They are represented by the model space and paper space tabs. You can see them down here on the bottom of your screen. The model space tab and then the others are paper space tabs. These tabs can be hidden, appearing instead as buttons on the status bar at the bottom center of the application window. Now, if you don't see these tabs, you can turn them on by right clicking in the buttons and clicking to turn them on. So if I click here, I can turn on model space. This will tell me I'm in model space or paper space tabs. Now I can also go into the options. If I go to my display tab, and you'll see the display layout and models tab button right here. If I turn it off, click OK, those buttons go away. I can also get to them though by coming up here to the file tab. The model space will always be called model. You can't change the name of that. But the paper space tabs can be called just about anything you want them to be. So you can get to them that way. If you turn these off, it might save you a little bit of room, but I prefer leaving them on. It's all up to you. Type in OP or the word options to get to your options and go to the display tab and click on the button there. Now typically, a model composed of geometric objects is created in a three-dimensional space called model space. That's what this is here. A final layout of specific views and annotations of this model is created in a two-dimensional space called paper space. That's right here. These spaces are accessible on two or more tabs near the bottom of the drawing area. The model tab and at least one other layout or paper space tab. Oftentimes we'll refer to these as layout tabs or paper space tabs. They mean the same thing. So working on the model tab, you'll draw your subject here and you'll draw it at a one-to-one -one scale. Working in a layout tab, you can create one or more layout viewports. You can add dimensions, notes, and a title block to represent a drawing sheet. So this is where your paper drawing comes to play. Each layout viewport is sort of like a picture frame containing a photograph of the model in model space. That's this box right here. It's the viewport. Each layout viewport contains a view that displays the model at the scale and orientation that you specify. And you can also specify which layers are visible in each layout viewport. After you finish arranging the layout, you turn off the layer oftentimes that contains the layout viewport objects. Alternatively, you can set the viewport layer to a no print setting, which is what I typically do, so that it's visible on the screen, but it won't print out. In either case, the views are still visible, and you can plot the layout without displaying the viewport boundaries. Just to recap, model space contains the drawing geometry or the model, and paper space is what's going to be printed out on paper. That's the main difference between these two spaces.